Hello, challenge tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Blue Ankylo. So I decided I was going to give Specchio a try or two on camera. I haven't really uh, done too much prep other than, uh, as I mentioned in between episodes, uh, I went and picked up the uh, the final uh, vest versions of the armor that aren't really a, a huge deal, but we might as well. Oh, you know what? The ruby vest half uh, halves damage. The, uh, the elemental vests from the, the chest aren't exactly the same thing, so that was my bad. Um, it actually does still absorb damage, it doesn't just reduce it by half. So the vests are actually pretty good then. The the colored vests, let's say. The uh, actual armors are better though, of course. Uh, the plates. Um, now, I didn't really have any specific plan. I gave uh, Chrono the water version, and the lightning version to Frog, and the fire version to Marl. Um, I'm not sure if Specchio uses shadow magic. He probably does, but I don't see it very often. And I know lightning does the most damage and tends to kill Frog, and uh, fire does a lot as well, but uh, you know, I just sort of played way the way I did it. Uh, I gave, uh, uh, because Chrono has max speed right now, I gave him the magic ring. Uh, I gave Frog our second best speed upgrade, and I gave Marl the best speed upgrade for now. Um, that just, because basically, Specchio is stupidly fast. Now, we might still not be able to do this until we get, uh, Cure Level 2. Uh, I believe there's a dual tech. I think, I, I can't remember which one it is, but I know Marl and Frog eventually get a dual tech that, um, heals basically the whole group for full. It's probably like Cure 2 plus Cure, or something like that. Um, but we don't have that yet, so we might not be able to heal enough, um, but we'll see. The plan is, now that I've, for once in the game, I've actually reduced battle speed quite a lot. We're gonna see if that's enough for me to keep us alive until we're all hasted up. That's basically what I need, is everyone to get hasted real fast. Um, so Chrono went before Specchio, that's a start. Uh, I don't really have anything for him to do right now, so he's just gonna cast a little bit of magic. 300 damage, you know, it's a start. Now, I kind of want to preserve Frog's turn here, because he's gonna need to start healing people. And, uh... Well, at least we're going a lot quicker than we were last time. So how bad is it? Frog get... Dang it, he still one-shot her. Yeah, that's that's the problem. If he can still kill people in one hit, uh, we've got a problem. And I don't think heal is gonna heal enough. It's probably gonna do like, maybe 200 HP tops. Like, I need Marl to be alive and have everyone hasted for this to have any chance. That's not even close. Um, that should not. Okay, that's a good... Now, I could use some items and stuff, I guess. I really think Marl needs to be, um... Hasted first, because then she can haste the rest. She just needs to not die in one hit. Probably should have gone for uh, a single target, like, high potion on uh, Chrono, actually. My bad. Alright, what's he gonna do? Fire spell on everyone? Probably kills Chrono, right? Yeah. Um. Alright. <laughs> I don't think we're quite prepped enough for this fight, unfortunately. It might be technically possible with really good luck. But, I don't know. Again, he's just gonna kill him before he even gets to move. Oh, he was- he absorbed it! Okay, there is some random luck involved, clearly. If we can manage to, you know, heal the element. Um, alright. I think... I still need to haste Chrono. I'm gonna have Marl cure Chrono next. Maybe I should have healed Chrono and just hasted him? I don't know. I don't know! I th yeah. Yeah. So, I did look it up. The way the haste spell works is it actually halves your uh, time 
bar, basically. So it does double your actions if you're fast. That was lucky. Alright, um... We're gonna throw that out immediately, although it's almost a waste. We're gonna haste Chrono. Like, we're fine until people start dying, as long as he doesn't start single-shotting, single, tar single like one-shotting people. Um, that might kill Frog. Don't be like that. He lived! Alright, um... Let me just... We're in the menu, so the time is stopped for a second. Let's just think about it. Uh... I guess we could have used the Barrier Spheres, actually. That might have helped out a bit, too. It's like the Shell spell from Final Fantasy. I don't really want to use Mega Elixirs. I think what I'll try... is I'll have Marl heal herself, and I'll use a High Potion on Frog. Everyone's been hasted. Let's... I, uh... I... I don't know. This is single target. Marl's like the most important sort of thing. She's good at healing. And she's got the lowest HP. Okay. Maybe we've got this under wraps. I don't know. The boss has quite a lot of, uh... Of HP himself. So Speculo's not an easy one to wipe out. Lightning Rod's doing pretty good damage, though. Uh, I'm gonna save her turn. Yeah. And... Immediately cure herself. Now, because she's so fast, I think she'll get another cure before the boss gets a turn now. Now that we've got haste and we're sort of maxed on sp well, we're not maxed on speed, but she's got 13 points in speed right now, which is considerably better than normal. Alright, now. Double cure isn't going to happen every phase, because now if he attacks, we won't have that option. But he's single targeted. Not bad. Alright, let's just keep it up. So far, this is looking more feasible the longer this goes. And I think we just need to keep people topped up, because if he picks the wrong element, he can nearly one-shot, like... 400, 500 damage is not difficult for him. Alright, let's see what happens. That's actually, like, the best choice. Seems like the Ice Spell is the best pick. Because Marl and Frog are at least somewhat resistant to water, and Chrono absorbs it. Now, he might get a chance to go before the heal comes through here, I don't know. I tried to put- you know, we probably could have turned the battle speed even slower and made it a little bit easier to get all these commands in. Oh, we got him! Now, there you go, that's the lowest level. He- that's as low a level as you can possibly do it. That was embarrassing, Specchio, you got whooped. Alright. Well, I had to burn, uh... Well, I guess I didn't actually need that magic barrier after all, but because Lightning 2 would kill Marl, I think that was the right choice. Anyway, we got a win! Awesome. So yeah, level 30 he unlocks once Chrono hits level 30, and this is pretty early in the game to beat him, so right on. Success. I've got some Abrosia. We picked this up. This is one of those random items that shows up after you rest in an inn. It's weird. I forget exactly what it does. Let's keep boosting Chrono's magic for now. Alright! Well, that that was cool. Awesome. And you got to see Marl's haste spell in full effect. She doesn't do the most damage, but haste is really good for bosses. Um, okay. So let's uh, switch the party up. We're gonna go to the future. Um, who do I want to bring? Let me just have a quick look at some text, see what we're gonna unlock. So Frog, we've been using Frog for a fair while, still a fair ways off of that, wouldn't mind getting Ice too. We could go with Ayla for a while, I do really like Ayla. Robo kind of makes sense in the future, I find myself not using uh, Luca all that often. Uh, 
Let's see, how do I want to run this? There's not really any big dungeons coming up, so we can kind of go... We can kind of just forget about it for now. We'll just stick with what we've got for now. We've still got a little bit more treasure to pick up anyway. So we need to go to the Protodome first. The goal is to is to meet is is uh, to meet up with the uh, the crazy old man by uh, Mount Doom or whatever it's called. But I thought there was a uh, a door here as well. I forget where all the doors are. Or did I go? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Sorry. I see what happened. I got confused. I did not mean to go to this dome. I wanted to go... Bangor! This is where we started in the 2300 uh, world when we first went there the first time. Yeah, there's the door I'm looking for. Alluring top. And a worksman's wallet. I guess I could change our uh, accessories now. So, the workman's wallet turns XP into G. Um, I think it just means you get less exp you get no experience per battle and you get a lot of gold. So it's probably not the sort of thing we're going to want right now. I'm going to go with... Uh, the silver stud for now, just to save MP if I'm in a tight spot. And we're gonna go back to, um, for now anyway, the hero's badge. Mazmune's still okay. Well, I say that. Yeah, it's okay. It's gonna start getting a little bit, uh, old though, before too long. And I guess the speed ring will keep Marl useful for a while. You know what? Speed is such a good stat. Let's just go with that. Oh, and before I forget, if we're going to get into battles, most of the time we can play on fastest speed just to save uh, precious seconds for the Let's Play. Alright. So, where are all the doors? That was one. There's only like... There's not very many, really. I guess we could talk to some of the people here. How come they have a, a sapling? That's different. Oh, I, I sold some old armor, too, between episodes. No big deal. A plant. We brought hope to the people in the future? Well, there you go. The sapling. Remember we found that seed way back in the time in the, uh, uh, the storage? And apparently it's growing in uh, the original dome that we planted it in. And now we've uh, brought a sapling over here. Pretty cool. Good job, guys. Well, it's gonna take a while, but you might have some food one day. Still have our Enertron. That's great. But we're still hungry. Anyway, I thought that was a nice little touch. More loot. A golden stud. Yeah, that's worth picking up for sure. So now... This is one you really don't want to miss. This is... Borderline the best accessory in the game for me for, for most of the game. Uh, spells are so much cheaper with that equipped. So, um... You know, uh, something like Lightning 2 that costs 10 MP... Norm or sorry, 8 MP normally, now only costs 2. <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. Um, so yeah, that's that's worth it for sure. And the magic capsule... I'm just going to keep stacking up on Chrono for now. He seems to be the part, part of all the really good dual techs anyway. Like, the most damaging dual techs seem to include him. So I figure powering him up makes the most sense. Now, we probably could go back... Is there anything? I'm trying to remember where the doors are. That's two doors down. Not quite three. Um, I think we can just zip right through all this if we're quick. Just uh, use a little bit of frame skip here to save some time. I was thinking we could have used the other gate to start at the other end. 
But I don't think it really would have saved us any time. Um, where, where we need to go is on the other side of the sewers. And even if we went to where we picked up Robo... Um, oops. Oh, these guys, right. Uh, Matt. Remember back in the days where we only had like one ability that could damage these things? Wow, uh, those days are long since over. There you go, we got to see ice water. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really worth fighting here right now. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter which way you go. Although I suppose, now that we've got the golden stud, Lightning 2 is actually cheaper than, uh... It's kind of crazy, actually. Lightning 2 is cheaper than Ice Water, which is usually like a very MP efficient way of fighting those enemies. Alright, get out of here. Okay, that's probably the only dungeon we'll have to zip through. I th there might be a magic door here, so let me just... Actually, there is. Uh, there is definitely a, a locked door in this area. Hey, we're back! Ah, uh, yeah, Daddy was the one that went to get the seed in the first place. Everyone's regained their will to survive! Well, isn't that just perfect? I hope it bears fruit. Everyone say hello to Doan. Doan? I don't know. Our energy is contagious. It's Marl's fault. Hmm. Near Death Peak, huh? Nah, we don't need to buy anything. So, I think... Wasn't there a locked door in this dungeon to the right? The left left took us to the rat maze and the, uh, the storage room. The right took us to where we learned there's that computer console. And we learned that, um... Oh, shoot. We learned about Lavos destroying the world, basically. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> We're just gonna rush through some battles here quick. I'd like to get this all done on a first path. First pass, so we don't have to come back later. But I'm pretty sure... There was a locked door over here that we couldn't get through. And I believe this is the last optional one. Uh, we'll need to take this route. There we go. This one. Lots of treasure! This one's easy to miss as well, I find. Acuity! Golden earrings! Strength! All kinds of goodies. Yeah, this is, a uh, kind of like the one in the Magic Cave. This one I, I know I've forgotten about many on many playthroughs. Ah, uh, Chrono's getting a lot of strength! Sounds great to me. Alright, so we got some equipment. So the Luminous Robes, I think, are female only? Yeah. And if you bother to get the plate, the, the elemental plate, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, I think I think the elemental plates are better. Uh, what else do we pick up? A earwing? Earring? So the golden earring gives you a lot of HP, and uh, I think it still caps at 999, so I wouldn't worry about it too much, but there you go. Was there anything else? Acuity. There was an acuity ring. There we go. Uh, so that's the highest a accuracy bonus, uh, which does give Marl or Lucas some physical damage, but it's probably not really that important. So none of that treasure here in that one is super, super important. You know, you don't won't argue about the strength capsule or anything, but, uh, oops. But, uh, you know what I mean. It's just, uh, none of that is super, super valuable. That, uh, sword we picked up right at the beginning, that was what we really wanted. So let's get out of here, and let's head to Death Peak. Or, at least the uh, dome. I forget the name of the dome. The one beside Death Peak.
And I think I've done all the backtracking in one sort of smooth swipe. One one fell swoop, I guess you might say. <laughs> we even defeated Speckio, so that was pretty good successful. Alright, so luckily we've already cleared out the sewers. Um, if you didn't bother clearing it out the first time, uh, you could do it now. Um, oh, that one, I thought this bridge... F uh, if you hadn't, basically, if you, if you didn't clear it out the first time, you'd, you'd have to clear it out this time, I think. But it's, it would be silly, stupidly easy, really. I wonder if there's any way to make that other bridge... Anyway. So, Deathbeak's still here. You can still try to climb it if you want. We did get, like, a, a magic tab there or whatever, but... Unfortunately, the wind is still far too strong for us. Keeper's Dome. So, the first time we came here, we didn't really know much about these creatures. Hmm. He seems confused. Memory error. So, are these things creatures or are they robots? There was an old man here the last time we came through. You who have opened the door. I am Balthazar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I've learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon his energy, growing ever stronger. Lavos's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, or nest. As it may well be, his miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age such as this, an endeavor I fear may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time and let all the people of the planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work, the wings of time. So... What's this fine beast? Let me in. The wings of time indeed. <laughs> Have you guys guessed where the front is? A little bit. 
Wait, you copied... How could you do such a thing? I'm a little bit confused. How to transcend time. Well, it's not that complicated. This zoo is quite old as well. We'll call it the Epoch. Farewell, strange construct. Thanks for the ship. And welcome to time travel. Flicking random switches. That's pretty much my face right now, though, to be honest. What is this? Should have brought Luca. Well, with that, we can now travel through time, at our whim. So, things like magical barriers that stop you from traveling to 12,000 BC are no longer an issue. I would note that, um, be careful if you decide this is the right one you want to click on. You might not want to really go to the 1999. It's a terrible age. You can also go to the end of time. Which conveniently has a dock. Interesting. So this old man apparently knew the other old man. Thanks for the tip. Alright, well I think that's it for this episode. We're doing quite well. Next episode we will, uh... It's been a while since I made a real save there. Oops. We'll try to break the seal. There you go. <laughs> Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll take our time machine for a little bit of a spin next time. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you there.